Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiya here, back with the next part of What If Naruto and Kurama Fused and I have something to discuss with you guys on a serious note before continuing this story. It is about, you know, a comment that I've been getting from multiple, you know, subscribers of mine. It is, what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Technoblade? At first I thought I should do it, but after I talked about this with my parents, they said, no, you shouldn't because one that kid died i mean he's similar to my age but in their perspective i'm talking so yeah and died fighting an illness and it might be not good for his family and legacy as well and some of his fans who just want him to be at peace would not like it so you should not do it and please apologize to those who want this to happen and to tell them that let the dead rest in peace and we shouldn't do these kind of stuff it might dishonor them and aside from that i hope you don't mind guys because i really don't want to do this i mean a guy who is dead man just please let him rest in peace because he left many people who were motivated by him you know sad and i don't want to anger them incur their wrath because i just you know made a video for fun on their creator i don't want to do that i'm not sounding like a douchebag or anything but it is the truth. Some people use this kind of tactic to make revenue on YouTube. I have seen those kind of videos and to be honest, I don't like that kind of content at all. And that is why I've been putting it off. But I thought that why don't I just make this, you know, public that I don't want to make such content. So please, 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 I request this from all of you guys that please do not request such content about a dead YouTube creator or real person that He's supposed to be reincarnated into Naruto or any other what ifs. Man, it is not good, okay? In my perspective, at least. So I hope you understand and I apologize to those who think that I was being rude and all. But yeah, I just talked about this with my parents and they said to me that I shouldn't do this. So I hope you understand. And aside from that, yeah, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's begin with our story story continues as we see Itachi leaving Naruto and Satsuki off at the academy now be good and remember always watch each other's back as Naruto and Satsuki made their way towards their class in the academy as they sat down many children started to fill in the classroom as amongst them were some of the children from clan heads as Satsuki and Naruto were looking at them one of them was similar to an Inazuka and one was obviously an Akamichi because he was still eating and one was lazy as a goat, meaning Nara. And sooner than later, the whole class was filled in and was now chatting amongst themselves, people getting to know each other. But Nara and Satsuki were talking amongst themselves. Come on Satsuki, we should also mingle with our class and make some friends, Nara said. No, I'm happy as it is and I don't want to mingle with people here. It's not good for me. Oh, come on. Stop acting like that. Hmm, look at those girls over there. The one with the blonde hair and the pink one. Why don't you go and talk to them? Ugh, seriously? I mean, try it. Who knows? Maybe they can be your allies and best friends in the future. Ugh, the things I do for love. Uh, what? What do you say, Sasuke? Naruto said, was not focusing on her words. Uh, nothing. Uh, I'll go and talk to them. As Satsuki went there, as Naruto then turned towards his friends, trying to do his best. Okay, Naruto, today you begin a new chapter in your life. Here goes nothing. As Naruto started to walk towards the boys who were talking amongst themselves. We go towards Satsuki as she was in front of their table. Hey, name Satsuki. What about you two? Oh, uh, name's Sakura. Sakura Har now. You know Yamanaka. Nice to meet you, Satsuki. Wait, you're from Uchiha clan, aren't you? Sa Satsuki-chan said Ino. Yes, is that a... No, no, not at all. Meaning you're Hokage-sama's daughter, right? Uh, yes. Hmm, knew it. Come over here, girl, and let's talk about some things. Like, who's the one you have a crush on? And who do you like? And what is your favorite color? And what is the best part about the person you like? Whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't that just too fast? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you know over here has a habit of getting to know people off the bat. I see. You two have been friends for long, right? Yeah, we have been. 
I know, um, said a voice as they all turned towards the person. It was Hinata. Hinata Yuga. N my name is H Hinata Yuga. If it is alright, I would, I would like to be of your acquaintance. You don't have to be so shy. Come on in. As Sasuke then thought, oh, maybe this is not so bad. While they go towards Naruto, uh, hey, uh, nice to meet you. Name's Naruto. Yeah, know about you. I'm Shikamaru, said Shikamaru yawning. Whoa, didn't you sleep last night? Oh, I did. It's just that I'm too damn tired just walking from my clan house to the class. Isn't it like, you know, five minutes away from here? Yeah, but it's five minutes of walking. What a torture, man. I don't want to do that ever again. Yes, we heard munching sound. Don't bother. Shika's just like that. More munching sound as after that, Joji then said, Name's Joji. Joji Agamichi. Yeah, I can tell. From this, as Joji's eyes open, I mean, nice, big bone figure of yours. Oh, yes. You realize it. Some people don't think that I'm big boned. They just think that I'm fat, and that really pisses me off. Yeah, people can be stupid. <laughs> Damn, I was walking on thin ice, Narda thought to himself. As then, a dog jumped on Narda's head. Whoa, uh, <laughs> what's your name, little one? As Akamaru yipped, wagging its tail. Name's Akamaru, and my name's Kiba. Nice to meet you, friend. Ah, Naruto. Naruto Zamaki. Hey, you're the one kid that was raised by the Uchiha clan, right? Yeah. Huh, cool. My mother told me about you and said that I should be friends with you. Uh, really? Yeah. Wait, are you Zumi-san's friend? Yeah. She's my mom. Oh, she was friends with my mother. I thought that you were acquaintance of her. Yeah, more than acquaintance. I actually live with her under the same roof. Sheesh, that woman has some issues, said Kiba. As Akamaru then yipped, looking at Kiba. What? Come on, Akamaru, you're not going to snitch me out on mom. What? What do you mean you would? Kiba said, getting angry. Sheesh. Talk about being my partner when you're snitching me out on the clan. What do you mean it is your duty to report everything to Kurimaru-sama? Ugh, whatever. Sheesh. Things like... It seems like that you have some things to sort out between you. Yeah, got him a few days back. He and I just linked. Now he's my Ninken. I guess we have some things to sort out first. Okay, Akamaru, rule one, said Kiba as he took Akamaru away. As Naruto finally, after mingling some bit, as two senses walked inside, went back to his seat. Okay class, my name is Hirokami now, and this here is Mizuki. And we would be your teachers for the upcoming years, and we'll be teaching you about the ins and outs of Shinobi life, as well as the history of how it all began. Oh boy, it's going to be a long lecture. And after that came the turn for introductions, as everyone introduced themselves before beginning. Okay, now that the introductions are out of the way, now we would begin with our journey. As from then on, the journey of the students began to become a true shinobi. As they started when they were 8 years of age. And after 5 years of time, yeah I just counted, sorry about that. After 5 years of time, they all were ready. So we're going to have a time skip here. Five years later, we see Naruto, who was currently sitting inside Hiruzen Sarutobi's compound. As Hiruzen then arrived there, Naruto, today is the test. Are you ready? Yeah, GD. Hmm. I hope you pass this time. And do not make a mistake, Naruto. You know, I have been trading you and favoring you in secret for quite a while now. I know, GD. Thanks a lot. You really are a lifesaver. As Naruto was dashing towards his compound, he was greeted by many people in the Chiyas who liked him, and Naruto greeted them back. As he arrived there, he saw that Itachi was there, and he looked pissed, as he and his father had an argument. As Satsuki and Mikoto looked sad, Whoa, uh, I'm back. What happened? Nothing, Naruto. Everything's fine. Itachi said, Everything's not fine, Naruto. Come inside, we have to tell them, Itachi. They should not be allowed to involve in this. Can't you get that? Dad, 
If they are involved, their life would be in danger as well," said Itachi as the Sharingan blazed to life. As Naruto was taken aback by that, Nissan, is everything all right? Yes, Naruto, everything is fine. I just need some time. Time is something we don't have, Itachi. You know about this, what I'm talking about. They need to know. <sighs> fine. Fine. God damn it. As Itachi then said, but not now. They have an important business. They are going to become Ganons today. Go. Go and pause that desk, both of you. Then we'll talk. Uh, okay, come on, Sasuke. Let's go. Goodbye. As Naruto said as he and Sasuke left. As we see them in the academy, they were all serious. What do you think, Naruto? What was that all about? Don't know. I could have asked you the same question myself if you wouldn't have asked me. Hmm. I think something is going on. Something big. Brother and father wouldn't have fought otherwise. Right? Said Sasuke. Yeah. Naruto replied. Otherwise, they wouldn't have fought. Something big is going on. But what? We are not sure. We will find out eventually. Yes, eventually. As after that they entered the academy. For the past five years, well, Naruto was an average student, while Satsuki became a top tier one. Because he had so much chakra, he couldn't do simple jutsus and was having a difficulty doing so. So he went towards his GD after two years of continuous failure, failure and failing the exams. And even talked to Fugaku about this. Fugaku was going to help him out, but he was too busy, so he let Itachi do that. Itachi, well, helped out both Satsuki and Naruto in the fields of shurikens as well as taijutsu and ninjutsu, at least to some extent. But Naruto had other natures, aside from Uchiha's, which were fire and lightning mainly, while Naruto had wind nature as well as earth nature, as well as water and fire for nature so he went towards Hiruzen, the professor himself, as Itachi suggested. So Naruto studied under him after begging him for more likely more than enough. And hence that is how his five years passed. And now here he was, an average student who was going to graduate. As the tests were the same as in canon and after doing so he passed the exam. But they weren't too happy and saw that Mikoto was the only one who was there. I was here to retrieve you back. It seems Fugaku-kun and Itachi-chan have something to talk to you both about. And it seems Hok Hokage-sama is going to join us. Ah, uh, Hokage-sama? Is dad the Hokage? Oh, silly me. I mean Hiruzen-sama. I see. As they all go towards the compound and sit down. I still don't see why the kids have to know. They have the right to know, because they are the future generation. They must know what is going to happen, because they are part of this family too. I must agree with Itachi, but somewhat with Fugaku as well, said Hiruzen. Kids are not supposed to know this matters, Fugaku, but I can see why you are doing this. It must be for good. <sighs> see, Hokage some agrees with me. To some extent, he agrees with me as well, father, said Itachi. Calm down, both of you, said Mikoto, after putting down teas in front of everyone. It is decided. They are going to know this, and we agreed upon this, Fugaku. I know, Mikoto. So, listen up, kids. What is it, though, John? Said Zatsuki, as Naruto remained quiet. We are going to kill some of the Uchiha's. What? Dad! You have to say the whole truth. The less you know, the better, but... Some of the Uchiha's are going corrupt. They want more power. They are not happy with what we have. As you see, after what Madara did in the past, as I told you guys when you were little, our clan was, you know, never trusted fully by the village and many other clans. But after that, Tobirama Sama, well, kind of put all to the already burning fire and igniting the flame much higher. And then came Hiruzen Sama. He toned down the fire some bit, but wasn't able to do so completely. And then came Minato. He was able to tone down a bit quite a large, and somewhat of our damage relation was repaired. And he was my best friend. And after that, well, after he passed away, something happened, and our clan was 
put aside. Turns out it was Council who was doing so and blaming us for the attack that happened. But Hiruzen-sama put them on their sh shoes and told them that it could not be possible. And after the whole, you know, Shinobi side of the council backed me up. At that time, I was able to save the Uchiha clan. And to this day, I'm honored and forever indebted to them for saving our clan. But some people from within got corrupted, thinking that they could do whatever they want and gain more power, squeeze whatever they can out of this opportunity. And that is what they have been trying to do so. But Itachi has been putting them off. And now they are brave enough to go behind his back to do this sort of stuff. Even though he's the clan heir and as well as the leader of the clan, they're still doing so. Many of the people sided with us. And we are going to carry this operation out soon. I just wanted to tell you that whatever happens, you should not come out and should not do any sort of, you know, investigation or this stuff. Just say that you were asleep. Or away when this happened. We're not going to tell you when this is going to happen, alright? Yeah, it is still kind of grim, Uncle, but I guess I kind of agree what you're trying to say. It is necessary good, Narda, said Hiruzen. We can sacrifice some lives, but think about it. If they continue to do what they're doing, many, many innocent lives will be in danger and the reputation that Uchiha's have recovered and salvaged it might be destroyed and devastated again. The trust that is completely built now in Uchiha's will be lost again, thanks to the Uchiha's again, themselves. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want the good people within the Uchiha's to suffer because of some greedy bastards. Ah, that is what I'm trying to do. We should just put them in their infinite Tsukiyomi Genjutsu and tell them to be good. We could have used Shisui if it wasn't for what? What happened to Shisui Nissan? Narda said. Shisui's killed. Somebody killed him. And all the, well, acquisitions are going to be on me for this murder because I was the last person he saw. But he was already poisoned. And from, from the looks of it, he was chased by some Anbus. I asked father about this and it turns out it was R Root Anbus. Danza is still operating Root, even though I have taken everything from him and given to Fugaku. There are some still shinobis left. I knew Danza was a snail old bastard, said Hiruzen, who wouldn't give everything up just as soon as he asked him to do so. So what are we going to do about him? That is where you come in, Itachi, said Fugaku. When Itachi asked this question, what? You are we the one who will go and kill the elders, while I myself, with my team, will eradicate those Uchiha's under the name of a council meeting. We have a mole within the scavengers, as they call themselves now. Hmm, a funny name, Narda said. Narda, it is not funny. Those people are respected and at one point of our allies, but they've turned their back on the clan and on us. We can't let their stupidity continue any longer. And I know that I, we can trust you too with this knowledge. The reason for this to tell you is that because a lot of kids that you might know and played with are going to turn orphans and you must be ready to it and would not reveal to it and always be there for them and let them not stray on the path that their parents did. I guess we know what our mission is then. We will try our best. You don't have to worry about that though, John. Said Satsuki. Good. That is what I expect from my children. As after they left, the Hokage, Hiroshin and Itachi planned. And suddenly, two days after, the plan carried out. Many Uchiha's, almost 50 of them, were killed. Alongside all of their gonaps who were involved into this. The kids were left orphans, and obviously put in their own Uchiha orphanage. Naruto and Satsuki always visited them and told them that they were alright and they were there for them. As they were told. And they gained many allies as such. As Itachi, we see him coming out covered in blood and was seen by Izumi. Ah, uh, Izumi-chan. Itachi came out back from a mission? Yeah, a tough one. I see. Well, you're good to your back. I mean, Naruto and Satsuki, well, both of them are 
getting in the orphanage and talking to the kids and trying to calm them down almost every day is good. At least they're res responsible and don't want the others to be feeling left out or alone. Yeah, I guess you're right. And after that, the academy called them back within one week of this happening. As the next week came and we see all of them back in the academy and today was the team selection day. And the teams were set, as in canon. Naruto and his team was the only one left, which was consisting of Sakura and Satsuki, waiting for their sensei. And Satsuki was still shocked at what happened. Still couldn't shake the feeling out of your head. Yeah, those kids didn't know what their parents done and they were missing them. I kind of feel bad for them, but they had it coming. I mean, the parents. Yeah. I mean, they betrayed the clan. Once they grew up and find out that what your family did, what do you think might happen? They might try to venge? Or they might side with us? I don't know. But the good thing is that father decided that we shouldn't tell them and reveal this to anyone. Yeah, I kind of agree with him on this one. We should not reveal this to anyone at all costs. Hmm. As they were talking, Sakura then joined in. Nay, what are you talking about? Uh, nothing, Sakura. <laughs> wow, did you change your hairstyle? It looked awesome. Yeah, I cut my hair short. Well, you know, it was getting kind of irritating to get get it maintaining and all that. You know what? You look kind of good like this. As Sakura blushed and looked away. Oh, really? <laughs> you think so? As Satsuki had an eye twitch. Hmm, should I cut my hair too, Naruto kun? What? Uh, if you want to. <sighs> Who am I kidding? This is a dense bastard I'm dealing with. Mother told me that, well, Minato was like that too when Kushina tried. I guess I won't give up, Kushina boss John. Just wait and see. I'll make Naruto turn my way. As Naruto said, huh? Did you say something? As the door opened to reveal a masked person with gravity defying silver hair. In his hand was his iconic green book. Huh? Oh, here you are. Uh, before you ask anything, I took a detour because a black, black cat crossed my path and it is a bad omen for the start. Uh, I see, Naruto said. You idiot, he's lying. I know, I guess, to some extent. I mean, black cats are a bad omen. Dachi Nisama said so himself. Whatever, Naruto. Sheesh. It was like when we were two. Still. As Dachi guy smiled. <laughs> I guess Sensei's son is kind of in a way still innocent. And way to dance like you. And from the looks of it, Kushina Sama, you don't have to worry about finding a girl. Seems that he has already someone level headed who will look out for him. Alright, enough of this chit chat. Finally, we're going to introduce ourselves. Meet me at the rooftop within a minute. Wait, what? As he vanished with a poof of smoke. As we all see him arrive at the rooftop. As there we see Kakashi sitting down as well as the Team 7 arrived there. Phew, you could have warned us. I did. Okay, now here we go. First one you, Blondie. Uh, name's Naruto. Naruto's monkey. Was raised by the Uchihas and... And... My dream for the future is to become the Kage and strongest shinobi in the village. Good, good, nice ambitions. Now next one. You, emo looking girl. I'm not emo, to be honest, but I get it. <sighs> Anyways, name's Satsuki Uchiha. I have my own likes. She's looking at Naruto and I have my own dislikes. She's looking at Sakura. But... My dream for the future is to become the Uchiha clan here and lead my clan to the glory like my Nissan. Okay, seems a nice kid here with a straight head and her priorities straight. I am Sakura Haruno. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even ask for your introduction yet. Oh well, continue anyways. As I was saying, I am Sakura Haruno. I have my own likes. She's still looking at Naruto. <laughs> and my dream for the future is... <laughs> Is something on my face, Sakura? Oh, nothing, nothing at all, Naruto. I see. Well, funny. I only got your name, though. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see in the future. That bitch! Says Satsuki. I'll kill her. As... Kakashi then said. Okay. Tomorrow you meet me at the training ground 7. 
and do not eat breakfast real puke bye as kakashi poofed away really again we have a weird sensei don't we what do you say girls why don't we go and grab some bite hmm sounds good says satsuki yep as they all went to eat ichirakus and finally went back home and the next morning came and they were at the training ground seven Naruto and Satsuki hadn't eaten breakfast as what is Sakura. Okay, how are we going to do this? Naruto asked. As Itachi was happy that his sensei's son took the initiative of making the plans. What do you mean? Well, it's obvious that we're going to have to do a test, but if we work together, we might be able to do so and not get in each other's way. Hmm, I see. Good point. Alright. So we have to lay traps and after they decided where to lay traps and what to do, they were ready. And Ta Kagashi also watched this, jumped inside. Well, to be honest, I'm impressed by your whole methods, Naruto, but you forgot one thing. I'm a Jonin and a veteran, so you don't have to use these Mickey gadgets against me because I can disable them and disarm them. He said disabling all the gadgets. Shit. But you didn't disable this sensei. As Naruto moved his fingers, as an invisible wire moved, and there it was. Itachi, I mean Kakashi, stuck in wires. Hmm, nice. That one I didn't see. Made a clone to put them up. Well, he kept an eye on the real ones. Ah, so you noticed I was watching you. Yep. So tell us, Sensei, do we pass or not? Well, I was going to give you the battle test, but I guess you pass. Seeing that you worked hard and together. Wait, that's it? That was a test? Hmm, thought you must have figured it out, but I guess didn't. Not the brightest bulb, I guess, but still the bright one. At least to some extent. I take it that as a compliment. Yep, that was. You see, the whole test was to make you work as a team. Because individually you could have performed, but you would have failed. As you know in a shinobi world, one must depend upon his team who might act as their allies and arms in the future. And will always have your back. You can trust them, and if you trust them, you can trust them with your life and can succeed in doing many, many difficult missions and even taking down S rank threats while being a Genin. Hmm, I know what you're talking about, Sensei. Well, isn't it obvious? From what I studied so far in the history of Konoha, there hasn't been a two man cell with a Sensei, there's always been a three man cell. For what you're saying is already invalid, meaning. Individually, we couldn't have succeeded. So my only option was that working together must be the right choice. And it was, as it turned out. I was right. Yep, I gotta give you that one, Naruto. You were right. So, can you free me now? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, good luck, Team 7. You are official now. And from tomorrow onwards, we're going on our D-Rank mission journey. So be prepared. As after that, the Team 7 celebrated and went back home. Well, Kagashi stayed behind. But what do you know, Sensei? It's not bad after all. He has inherited some of your... Well, abilities. Which you are to contraband and contradict what was going to happen and plan ahead. And not only that, he is also good at... You know, making people believe in his words with proof. Like you used to do. Better get going, as the sensei arrived in the Hokage office where Hiruzen and Fugaku were waiting. So, they pass. Naruto made them work together and everything was... Well, even the test before the test began, everything worked out well and they passed. How is that possible? Fugaku asked, as he was surprised. As Kagashi explained the whole story. Oh, that is quite genius of Naruto, actually. Although he is dance to sometimes to people around him, but... He is smart when it comes to ninjutsu and tactics. I should know we work. Well, he is his father's legacy after all. Yeah, you're right. Here's in summer. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? Well, we wait. Because this year round, Chunin exams are going to be hosted. Said Hiruzen. By us? Fukaku asked. Yes, by us. And for the looks of it, Suna... A new village, Otogakure, as well as some other villages like Rain Villages and Rice Village are also going to play a part into this. I see. 
And what about the other allies? Oh, don't worry, Taki is also sending here some of their shinobis. And from the looks of it, their Jinchuriki is also coming here. The Seven Tails Jinchuriki. And our intel has led us to believe that Suna is planning something with Oto. Hmm, what could that be? Maybe an invasion? We do not know for sure right now. But Jirai is working on it. And we will be able to find out or figure out something eventually. Kagashi, keep your eyes open and guard when you go around in the missions. We have asked the other same Jonis as well. Alright, Hokage-sama, I'll leave. As after that, Kakashi left, leaving Hiruzen and Fugaku to plan. As Naruto and Satsuki were celebrating with Itachi and Mikoto at home because they passed as well as were now official. As after that, they went to sleep and the next morning came. And from then on, the journey to become a Ganon finally began. The first journey to the D-Rank missions. It was tasked to complete 50 D-Rank missions before they, before they advance. And that is what they were doing. And their last mission was to catch Tora, the demon cat, like any other Ganon team. But Naruto was able to catch it. Don't know how, as Naruto was enraged because the cat scratched his face very badly and so did Sasuke. You damn cat! I'll catch you this time, Naruto said with rage, but before Tora could mock Naruto, it froze with terror as Naruto's eyes turned slits with red glowing eyes for only for a visible moment before Naruto leapt towards Tora and catching Yes, I caught Tora! As everyone who heard this, even the Anbus stopped and looked at Naruto. Well, I'll be damned. The demon cat is finally caught. <laughs> who would have thought? Yeah. Well, great job, kid. You might be written down in the legends just by catching that damn cat. Even we had difficulty. Yeah. You know what? For some reason, it pisses me off, Naruto, but good job. Uh, thanks, I guess. Yeah. As after that, they returned to the Hokage office. Greetings, Tochan. Uh, hey, uncle. We got the cat. Good. As the Demi's wife arrived, then Naruto gave her the cat, and she left, taking them. So, what can I do for you? Uh, maybe another mission? Kagashi asked. Hmm, are they ready, Kagashi? Yes, they are, Kagasama. Good. I heard that you completed your 50 D rank mission, so here it is. The first D rank. Bring him in, Iruka. Uh, Hayo Kagasama. As a drunken man came in, huh? I didn't ask for brass to protect me. I want real protection. We can give you real protection, old man. An old man who can protect himself is in, in need of such huge protection because we are immortal enough. Naruto said showing him his own purse, which he took without even him knowing. Huh? What? Since how? Oh. Hey, here you go, old man. Didn't took one real out of it. To, to let you know, better keep an eye out for who you mess with and talk to. Everyone in Shinobi world is not generous, Naruto said. Naruto, enough. Okay, uncle. So, get prepared and meet me at the gates, said Tazuna, we'll be departing. As all of them went back and arrived at the gates after being prepared. So, should we begin our journey? Yes. And hence began the journey towards the land of waves. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this part of guys, I hope you like this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace.